Hey guys, what is going on? We are jumping back into Vanguard here with another best class setup for you here today. We are bringing you one from Gerard Masterson in the comment section who did want me to take a look at the brand. He mentioned that the first barrel attachment that you can unlock for this thing actually does make it a two shot kill. But we've actually found a different way to make it a two shot kill. So again, thank you very much to Gerard in the comments for recommending this class setup to me. We've tested his option out and I tested my option out. And I think I like my option a little bit better, but of course we will talk about it in just a second here. But before we do get into it, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. I do very much appreciate it and it really does help me out. I know about 90% of you guys watching these videos right now are not subscribed. So if you could take the time to hit that little red button for me, that would be absolutely massive. It really does make my day when I see our little number grow up and I can Community grow. So let's take a look at the two shot Bren here. This thing is very, very powerful in this game at the moment. So as I said, this one does come to us courtesy of the comment section. If you do have a class up that you think we should test out, make sure you do leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see next. So the Bren, as I did say before, does get a two shot kill with a number of different attachments in this. You can actually get this to 90 damage per bullet which I think is ridiculous. But again, 90 damage is basically the same as having 50 damage in most circumstances. Sure, some people might have already taken 10 damage and then you can get a one shot kill. But I mean, having like a damage barrel and a damage magazine on at the same time with this particular weapon does give you 90 damage per bullet, but that's not useful most of the time. So if we take a look at the magazine here, we get the 0 0.50 BMG 50 round mags. This does increase our bullet velocity, our damage range, our damage, our bullet penetration, and our maximum magazine ammo capacity. We take a look at the numbers here, we do get 50 damage per bullet. Again, that two shot kill is very, very important for this particular class setup. A really, really nice place to start here. We also get a decent amount of bullet velocity and vehicle damage as well. This thing's okay at taking out kill streak, which is actually pretty interesting. The next option that you can go with here is the barrel. This is the one that Gerard did mention to us, the Oak and Shield 590mm Model 2B. It does increase our damage, our destruction, and our bullet penetration. As you see, if we do take both of these, we do get 90 damage per bullet, which is absolutely hilarious. And as I said, can be useful if somebody does already take a little bit of damage and then you get that one shot kill. But I mean, most of the time that's not gonna come up and you do still get a two shot kill with this thing. We did try this particular combination with like the incendiary damage to try and push it to 100 to get that one shot kill. It doesn't happen, I couldn't get it to work. But again, we do go with the Queen 705 millimeter Royal Barrel. This does give us a highly accurate and controllable weapon, increases our bullet velocity massively, reduces that weapon sway, as well as not diminishing the damage over range with this thing. We get infinite damage range with this, which is a really nice combination. We get 292% increase to our effective damage range, 40% bullet velocity, and 40% horizontal recoil control. Then we do have the Mercury Silencer here for a little increase to our recoil control, as well as that sound suppression while not reducing our aim down sight speed like we do with the MX Silencer. In the optic slot, I feel like this one is up to you, but I think the best option that we can go with is the G16 two and a half times. We get a very nice clear sight picture here, as well as a little bit of extra zoom when we are firing. In the stock, we do go with the Oak and Shield 12B. This does give us three to our horizontal recoil control, which is about a 10% increase off the top of my head, as well as a nice little boost to our aim down sight speed. Under barrel, we do have the M1941 hand stop here for the recoil control and the accuracy. Very, very nice option. All the other options in this particular slot are really not ideal. Ammo type, we do have lengthened here to increase our bullet velocity by 30%. We do get 2,031 meters per second here. This is almost like actual hit scan with this. This is very, very fast and a fantastic boost for our hit detection. Rear grip, we do have the fabric grip for the aim down sight speed and sprint to fire speed increases. Just a nice little boost here to get those sights up a little faster. Proficiency, we do have tight grip here for the accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. There's also something to be said for sleight of hand as well with this because you want those magazines in the gun as fast as possible. And there's there's also another third option to be taken in brace for that initial accuracy and recoil. You can pick and choose one of these three. And then in the kit, we probably just want to go with fully loaded here to give us the most amount of starting ammo here. You can take surplus if you are still leveling this thing up. It's a nice little boost to your XP. But we do go with fully loaded for the maximum starting ammo. Alrighty, so we do have the Bren here on Eagle's Nest, and this is definitely an interesting class that have been in this game, man. Being able to get two shot kills in this game is basically just like easily the best way to play. Like it's, it, if you don't have a two shot kill weapon, you better have a fast TTK and a lot of damage here because I mean, you can struggle if you don't have that. Otherwise you're looking at like shotguns and stuff. It can be a little, little yucky for this game at the moment. I mean, the shotguns, shotguns are pretty good. Shotguns are very good here. It's gonna be a little tricky for us to move in this area of the map because it is quite close quarters and this isn't ideal. For close quarters combat as it is an LMG, the aim down sight speed's a little slower than you're probably expecting. Like that, you just get caught in that situation where you move up and the aim down sight drops and then yeah. Is a little messy. I actually do like to play with this thing like a little bit of a marksman rifle. It's actually a little different here to how I normally would play something like this. The brain, I believe, does have a little bit of a mechanic where the first like five, six bullets or something like that, I think it's about that five or six bullets, do fire very, very accurately. And then similar to something like the NZ41, they do actually spray out a little bit. So if we were to fire this thing, you can see 
first couple of bullets are very, very accurate, and then it does sort of spray out side to side and a little bit horizontal recoil, which is not ideal, but I mean, you just learn to tap fire this thing, and because you can get a two-shot kill, you can actually use this like a little bit of a weird marksman rifle hybrid combo thing. It's just, it's a strange weapon, man. Like, it's really good, though. Being able to get those two-shot kills at that 50 damage per bullet does get you that 112 millisecond time to kill, which is just lightning fast here, man. That's... That's a lot quicker than some of the other guns in this list, but again, as it is an LMG, it does struggle a little bit with that aim down sight speed and that aim walking movement speed, because it's just, it's just a little slower. Like, it is what it is here. That's just the type of weapon we're using, but it's still fun. Still fun at the same time. So you see that tap? You see that tap? I think I also tried this on single fire as well, and if you got a fast trigger finger, you can get that going, and you still get those two-shot kills, man. You drop people with this. Oh, God, here we go. Yeah, I, I, I don't think you have much of a chance there. We're in a little bit of strife here as there is a guy on our right. I think he's pushing up. Yeah, having 90 damage per bullet if you do have the damage barrel attached as well as the magazine that we've got is also a lot of fun, but we are kind of stuck here at the moment. Oh god, this is bad. I really don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> How are we still alive? I don't understand. They keep chucking grenades and stuff at us. We've got the dogs coming in here. There's gonna be another guy. We'll just... No, we'll just lay down. I don't want to hit by that grenade. Bruh! I was behind a box! I was behind a box! Annoying. I mean, we really should have died earlier than that anyway, so I can't be too upset. Try and rush through the middle again. Basically just looking for a couple of different people to... Hello? Okay, okay, I'll take it. Yeah, basically, really, two of them. Two grenades. Bruh. Give me a break. Check that up there. Try and take a similar position to what we had previously. This, nah, we're gonna hold this bit. Peek me. Peek me. Peek me, dude. Peek me. I dare you. Yeah, look at that. Couple of two taps. Ooh, it feels good, man. It feels very good to get two shot kills with this thing. The Bren's really good. I've actually also been seeing that the Bren's really good in Warzone too. Like it's really good in Warzone from what I have seen. I think they may have nerfed it. I can't remember off the top of my head. This is such a good position as well. Just being in this room is really toxic. Because it's darker in here than it is outside. It's very tough for the enemy to actually see you and shoot you. But the spawns look like they flip. So we're going to go down the other end. Oh boy. The Ooh. What happened to my internet bro? Oh, jeez. What is happening right now? Did something start down? What happened? <laughs> I do not know what happened there, but my internet just decided that today is not the time to record a YouTube video. Today is not the time. I mean, it isn't it. But I, I, I really do like this thing. Wait, no. Let me get my two-shot kills and be about my day. Yeah, this thing's like a ba is basically a 50-round 50, 50 mag marksman rifle. Ooh, that's rough. That's tough. Yeah, you can play this thing like a marksman rifle, and if you do have that fast trigger finger, you get those taps going. It's actually really, really good. Get it that way. Get those tags, and I'm gonna keep pushing up. I know there's a guy on the left here. So we're gonna slide out and be ready to shoot. Nobody there. No, we're good. Hello, everyone, you calm down. Everybody calm down. Everything's fine. Everybody's just jumping out and shooting. You don't usually like to be indoors in this part of the map, mostly because there's a spawn here. Can get a little rough, but once you get through this area, you do usually walk into people who aren't ready for a gunfight most of the time. Ah, behind us again. Not ideal. Hostile Goliath on the crawl. Remember that, because that's going to kill me in a second, so just, just remember that the Goliath is waiting for us. Come on, there we go, got the taps on him. Just got to be waiting. I'll throw that up the top. So it bounces down there. No ticks on him, so that's good. There is actually somebody here, though. Got him. Alright, we good. Jump across. Just stay in here, get those sights up. Jump across again. Wait for somebody to come to us. As being able to get those two-shot kills when you do have the sights up, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think actually having 90 damage per bullet would have got us that kill there. That was rough. I shouldn't have... I shouldn't have gone back. Look how quickly we kill... Hang on, where is it? Where is it? Let me, look how 
Look how quickly we kill those score streaks. Where is the counter spy plane? Where where are you? Where is it? Where where? Hello? Where? Where is? Where is he? Should be able to there it is. Okay. Look at this thing. Look at this thing, bro. Look at Look, you just clap it. It's like one mag. One mag and it's dead. You just ruin someone's day. And then, I mean, I know it's going to come in immediately, like five seconds after you destroy it, but, you know, here's what it is here. You can destroy him pretty easily. Ooh, he was ready. I love this thing. I love this thing. I think it's so fun. I love it. It's so fun, man, just to be able to, like, tap fire people and they just explode. Oh, God. It's always going to be rough. We're going to push up this side again. There is another counter spy plane going on, which we could take out, but I don't want to spend the whole mag just shooting it again. But do we? Where is it? Is it in yet? Can I shoot it? I would like to shoot it. There it is. Come on. Let's go, boys. We can do this. Come on. Yeah, we got it. <laughs> That's funny. Somebody works a little hard for those things because they are very spamble. And it does feel a little bad as the second you take them out, somebody just goes, yep, I've got another one here. It feels, feels bad to take them out, but it's very beneficial for the teammates to take them out. That'll be good. Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> uh, it's tough to hit three shots in a row that are like that. You have to hit six bullets and there's a... Uh, it's just tough. It's just tough. That's rough on that guy. Okay, I think we've seen enough here. We got 46 kills and like a couple of deaths, but most of them were our fault and most of them weren't really a result of a bad class or anything like that. So I feel like we can have our final thoughts on this thing in just a second here. So as you saw there guys, the two shot Bren is a lot of fun. If you are still trying to level this thing up, you can actually just get this to a certain level. I believe it's pretty early and you unlock the two shot barrel. And then you work out that this thing is actually very, very strong. When you get two shot kills, I think the time to kill is like 112 milliseconds, which is ridiculously fast for this game. Of course, it is an LMG, so it is that aim down side speed and that sprint to fire speed is, of course, a little bit lower than usual. But I do think the Bren is actually a lot of fun. I know a lot of you guys are using this in Warzone at the moment. And this is a very, very cool weapon in Vanguard as well. Just before we go here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button with those notifications turned on. If you did enjoy this and it did help you out, I would very much appreciate that because it does mean an awful lot to me when I do see our community grow. But I know about 90 ish percent of you guys watching these right now are not subscribed so if you could take the time to hit that little red button for me that would be absolutely massive thank you very much for watching again as i said and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye